In Lab 17, students learn that chromatography is another separation technique like filtration that can separate solutes from solutions or mixtures. By using and analyzing paper chromatography, students will discover which solutes are actually soluble, that solutions can contain more than one solute, and different solutes have different solubility rates. Let's fill a beaker with 25 milliliters of water. If we dip the tip of a green marker in the water for just a second, what happens? You will see that the ink dissolves in the water and that it eventually turns light green. We can conclude that the green ink is soluble. Let's now do a little further investigation of the green marker. Put 50 milliliters of water into a beaker. Place a spot of green ink about 2 millimeters in diameter on one piece of chromatography paper. Fold over the paper about 3 centimeters from the top. Rest a pencil across the top of the beaker containing the water. Hang the paper on the pencil so that it touches the water. Make sure the spot of ink is above the surface of the water. After a few minutes, you will notice something happening to the green ink spot. The spot has moved up from the bottom of the paper. You will also notice a couple new colors on the chromatography paper. There is blue ink at the top and a little bit of yellow ink at the bottom. The solutes that make up the green ink are being separated by the water passing through the chromatography paper. We can therefore conclude that the green marker is made up of two different solutes, blue and yellow. Also, the blue and yellow solutes have different solubility rates because they are traveling up the medium at different speeds. The blue solute is more soluble than the yellow solute because it is higher up on the paper.